This video is called Standing in the Right Spot, the Position Camera Tool, and it's the first video for Chapter 10 of Google SketchUp for Dummies. This video deals with the Position Camera Tool, just like it says. Uh, basically, what this tool does is it solves a problem that most people have when they're working in SketchUp. Now, let's say that I wanted to be standing inside this cafe somewhere and kind of just looking someplace, all right? Well, you have to be pretty good with the navigation tools, orbit, zoom, and pan, in order to be looking exactly where you want to be looking. And even then, it's kind of hard to be precise about where you're standing. So I know I'm in this space right now, and I know I'm kind of, oops, now I'm outside the space. Let's zoom in, zoom in. There we go. I'm kind of here, but I don't know exactly where I'm standing. So if, if somebody asked me, like a client asked me, I want to know what it's like to be standing exactly right here, right here on that spot, and I want to know what it's like to look right here from there to there, because maybe that's where, I don't know, customers stand in line at the bar, which I haven't actually modeled, um, at the, the cappuccino bar, and I want them to have a nice view, or something like that, doesn't matter. I want to be precise about where, I, where I'm standing in, um, in SketchUp. What I'm going to use is the Position Camera tool. To get that, I'm going to go up to the Camera menu, and then choose Position Camera. It's the third one up from the bottom. Now, the cursor turns into the position camera tool. It's like a little white figure with a red X on the bottom. And the way you use this tool, uh, in the first case at least, is really simple. What you do is you just click. Watch. Click. And when you click, you're going to be standing exactly where you clicked. Now, in this case, my eye height is 10 feet, 10 and 5 eighths inches. Watch. I'm going to zoom in on that and you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Okay. That's a bit high. So what I'm going to do is change my eye height. Watch. I'm going to type in 5 apostrophe 6, that's 5 foot 6, and hit enter, and I'm going to drop down to being 5 foot 6 above the ground. Now normally, your eye height will automatically be 5 foot 6, but if somebody's messed with that, or you've messed with that by accident or on purpose, um, it wouldn't be that way by default. But basically that's how it works. So let's go over that again. Watch. If I want to be, oops, see I'm just kind of outside the model here, zooming around. Okay. If I wanted to be, let's say, let's say in this case, I want to be standing, I want to know what it's like to stand right here between these tables and look out at the doorway there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the camera menu, grab position camera, and I'm going to click right there on the floor. Watch. Click. Now, it says my eye height is 5 foot 6. Good. I'm in my look around tool. I know I'm in my look around tool for two reasons. Number one, the icon looks like these eyes, which is kind of creepy. And number two, let's see if I zoom in, you can see the eyes. Yeah, okay. That's what the look around tool looks like. And number two, as soon as I'm finished using the position camera tool, I'm automatically going to be in look around. All right. And look around, which I cover uh, a little bit later in the book and in these videos, you just kind of drag your mouse around to look around. So this is if I'm standing exactly where I clicked, right? Right here. I don't have feet in SketchUp, but I'm basically standing exactly where I was, and I'm just kind of looking around as if I'm turning my head and moving it up and down. Pretty simple, right? Okay. Let's say I wanted to be even more precise than that. There's another way to use position camera as well. And that is to say I want to be standing exactly in one place and I want to be looking at exactly one place. So that way you don't have to use this uh, look around tool at all. Let's do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my line tool, the pencil, and I'm going to draw a little stick here on the ground that kind of represents um, my eyes, okay? Now I know I'm 5 foot 10, so what I'm going to do is just click once on the ground, I'm going to come up in the blue direction, and I'm going to type in 5 foot 10, that's 5 apostrophe 1 0, and hit enter. Now that stick, I just hit escape to finish drawing that stick, that stick right now is 5 foot 10 inches high, and it's standing right there. So what I'm going to say is I want to know what it's like to be standing exactly here with my eyes exactly on the end of that stick, looking exactly at the back of this woman's head. Okay, and in SketchUp that's pretty easy to do. I'm going to use the position camera tool again, but I'm going to use it in a slightly different way. So watch, I'm going to click on position camera. Now, instead of just clicking down on the end of the stick, which is just going to basically put me standing there, I'm going to do this. I'm going to click and hold down the mouse. And do you see what's coming out of the mouse right now? Do you see how there's kind of a dotted line just like that coming out of the, uh, from where I clicked to the cursor connecting it? What that is, that dotted line, is basically my eyesight line. So that's where I'm looking. Now, I want to be looking over here at the back of this woman's head. Let's say the top of her head. So what I'm going to do is just kind of drag the mouse over. I still haven't let up on the mouse button. I'm going to drag it over to the back of her head and just let go. Watch. When I let go, my eyes are exactly on the end of that stick that I just drew. And the center of my view, the center of the screen, basically, is exactly on the back of this person's head, or exactly where I let go. Let's try that again. 
I'm going to create a stick somewhere else. Actually, I'm just going to move that stick. Let's select it, grab the Move tool. I want to be standing over here, let's say. Okay, and I want to know what it's like to be looking exactly at this logo right here on the, on the wall. So what I'll do is I'll go up and get the camera tool and grab position camera. I'm going to click and hold down on the end of that stick, drag that dotted line over to the logo and let go. And now I'm exactly as high as that stick looking exactly at that logo. And by default, it still put me into the look around tool so I can still kind of just drag around and look like this. Now, if you want to change uh, navigation tools right in the middle here, you can right click and choose from orbit, pan, look around, walk, and zoom, just like that. Okay, that is the end of this video for Google SketchUp for Dummies.